where it have been handed. <laughs> it's like Christmas. And I have to spend another day working on the base. <laughs> I help. Yes. You said there was a sniper rifle, right? Yeah. Probably gonna need it for, uh... It's in there. Go, go. Check down the chicken coop. Oh yeah, I think I checked it during the night, because I was out here running around like a goober. Like a goober? Oh yeah, I got a bunch of crud in my inventory, I gotta drop off before I head over. No, don't mind me, just putting down some more concrete. Making our base hard. Not the only thing that's hard. What are charcoal chips for? Use for uh, making filtered water. Oh, okay. Which is like regular water, just gives you more hydration at a time. I think it gives you health too. Oh yeah, farm. That's what I was doing. Did you see you running on by? I'll build it over here. Think this is far enough away? Uh, you might want to go like east or west instead. If you go south, we might have the uh. Screamer spawning there from our forge. Oh, yeah. Um, east. It's generally flatter there. Flat like the world. The world is square. Take me longer to clear everything than probably will to put the farm up. Did 
Just realized how inefficient Flagstone is going all the way to this reinforced concrete. How inefficient is it? I mean, you have to use, like, more cobblestone and then you have to use the, uh, two, you have to use 20 concrete on each one, right? Well, a rebar, you just put down a rebar frame and then you just, like, LOL, reinforce concrete. Because I fiddle around on my single player game, the first, the night seven, I just pretty much, yep. like, trolled. even bother with the base. And then, but by the end of, like, day 14, I had a base, like, completely made out of reinforced concrete. <laughs> My bases are usually made out of wood. Well, I mean, you do love that wood. <clears throat> and then I make lots of bricks for the base, like where the spikes are. You want to come clear some rocks? I'm laying down some rebar right now. I can come by in a sec. Let me finish putting down these frames. I just figured you'll get more out of these than I will from busting them all. Are you off to a rocky start? Yeah. And that's a fact. I always think I'm hearing zombies. This game has made me paranoid. <laughs> Real life, too. You always hear zombies. Yep. East, right? Yeah. Follow the green arrow. What do you need cleared out? Those rocks beside me there. See all these small rocks in this area. If you're making the farm here, you're gonna have to dig out this uh, clay and then put dirt in its place. Yep, that's fine. On it, because it'll give us some extra. It'll let me uh, flatten the land, anyways, right? Ooh, a backpack. Got some gun parts. My stamina gauge. You got all of them. Thanks. 
just to help with our visibility, I'm going to get rid of some of these big rocks on our base, too. More iron, more stone, more lead, more nitrate. Uh oh, I failed at math. What's up? Well, remember how you said uh, you want to, gu to garden 20 by 20, right? Yeah. So I said I needed uh, uh, 79 fences plus a gate. I was wrong. I mean, you need 84, right? 20 on each side and then 4 in the corners? Yeah. Forgot the corners. Yeah, watch for falling rocks. Hey, hey, that means our show is educational now. Is it though? <laughs> Depending on what you want to learn. <laughs> well, if they watch you play, they can learn how to craft things real fast, make bases, and, you know, be productive. If they watch me, I don't know what they're trying to prove. What does a hunting rifle do? Shoot stuff. This is what happens if you don't start mining on Seven Days to Die. You get left behind in levels. I'm digging now. Yeah, but so am I. You're a nerdy digger. That's racist. Nah. -uh. It almost is. I mean, when you say it like that. I wonder when we get our next dog and bear with it. Never. That's when you're supposed to say, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. When I play this game on single player, I seem to get bad luck. Not enough lapis on your equipment. Yeah, that's exactly it. No, uh... So I started a new player, a new game on a single player, and I'm just like... Let's let's fiddle around with this and see what happens. And my first horde on day two was dogs. My day three one was dogs. My day four one, I'm pretty sure was dogs as well. Usually, when you, somebody says, let's fiddle around with this and see what happens, somebody goes to jail. It usually involves TNT. So that involves warning signs and a button. <laughs> Do not press, there is a nuke. That type of warning button? Not my fault. He couldn't read. Or he could read, just... Didn't listen. Yeah. It's 
Also, do you remember the other use for the mini bike? Um, falling into pits is how I recall using it. <laughs> the super light for Horde Knight? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, I'm off to a rocky start. I'm not even counting how many... How, how I'm digging, I'm just digging. I figure I'll worry about it afterwards. Getting lots of clay. We're gonna need lots of clay. Considering we still need, like, steel for the spikes. I thought we just needed gasoline. Uh, no. You go, uh, double metal, then steel, then gasoline. They need exploding spikes. That sounds like pretty much the most useless thing. <laughs> It's like, oh, spikes for base defense and they just blow up. Surprise! What's the point of it being a spike? Just make fucking landmines. Those are explosives that'll do pretty much the same thing. You know what? I shall be back. Not gonna make landmines, are you? Maybe. I'd be lying if I said no. What are you gonna do with a landmine? One nothing. Besides making an attempt to kill me. Not I mean not intentionally. It'll be an accident if that happens. And those accents that you do on purpose, those are the worst. Machete crafting. Nails. Oh, we got lots of nails. I'm still waiting for more concrete to be produced. And there's that random steel spot because I forgot to put away my steel.
It's like, I wish the concrete would craft faster. <laughs> Make cement. Lots of cement. I forgot to bring a bit of clay, but that's fine. Make sure you got a bunch of stuff ready. It's not even noon yet. So many leftover points I have when I reach level 100 and get the next uh, tool on Weaponsmith. But if they're enough, I'll get uh, science and then uh, make us our chem station. Okay. I have a bit more concrete. Do you have any rifle bullets? Nope. I guess you'll need some of those, won't you? Yeah, I'll probably only need like 30. Because I'd only use them on, uh... The, if we get any cops showing up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up? Talk about shooting cops when they show up. Yeah, I'm a rebel. Put 52 rounds in the...
still need more concrete. More concrete! And more steel. I'm gonna club this seal to get a better deal. If we just upgrade it up to regular concrete, at least it'll be. should be at least be good enough. Do we have a lot of gasoline? Um. Yes. Okay, I was thinking of upgrading these, uh, the steel spikes I've already put down. There's 5,000. If it'll let us do that. I'm not sure if, uh, the expansion does that. I should get into the habit of carrying cobblestone with me whenever I'm doing the walls, because I keep finding the random units which are just, like, damaged by one point. Probably my fault. <laughs> Half of it. <laughs> when I go to cut up a zombie and I start hitting the wall instead. You know, that spot wasn't damaged. It was just still flagstone. Oh. I'm pretty sure I looked around, but I'm pretty sure we have all the spikes at least through the metal part, right? Um, yes. Smile and nod. I see spikes down there. Able to make 14 landmines. Why? They don't damage structures. So they actually do a little bit. No, not these ones. What kind did you make? Just the tin. The candy nail tin mine. Oh, it's those nail mine. Oh. It's special through. Uh, Skill, skilling up and trapped. Doesn't deal any damage to surrounding blocks. But I won't place him until it gets near nearer tonight. How much gunpowder do those use? One. That's actually not too bad. What else do they need? Scrap iron? Uh, one candy tin and nails. Fiery spikes. Back to digging. So you think tonight's horde will be done by midnight? Mm, probably, if not sooner. Yeah, 
you can change the config files to make it just constantly spawn them. Like, they'll never run out. No, that's fine. I don't have enough gunpowder yet. Duh. Once you hit, like, the late game stages, it doesn't matter. You, there's no way you're going to kill, like, 2,000 zombies in the, during the night or whatever the stupid amount is you need. Says you. It's like, challenge accepted. The heck was that? Are you making noise? So I'd say let's take an adventure to town, but it's probably not a good day to do that. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna take out this other rock, though. I'll go get my coat. By coat, I mean gunpowder. Towards you. Oh, I ran off. I don't see any. Oh, there they go. They're running past the base. Beside you. Beside you. I think I shot you. Damn, I wanted that other Ravager because Ravagers drop good loot. I'll go get him. Oh, the zombies are inside of our base. stuff something broke just the rebar frames he's trying to track him and bring him back out
They're up on the roof. Silly Ravager tricks are for kids. They, they, are the other ones taken care of? Are you still playing around with them? I killed a couple out here. Couple in the pit. Were they on fire? No, they didn't go near the fire area, I don't think. I was actually really tempted to pull out the frames. <laughs> I got a lot. It's like, how can I be a dick? I got the uh, bodies out here too. Alright, cut them up. You can make a silenced magnum. That would be hard. It's not the only thing that's hard. <laughs> Rock hard. Man, my stamina gauge still can't maintain it. I can get a good amount of stone out before I have to sit here and recharge. Crafted up. So I think if you were to go down into the mine and just stand on the hay bale, if I drop down, I think it'll still break my legs if it doesn't kill me. I think there's collision between the two of us. I would ask if you wanted to try that, but. <laughs> Probably not best to have a broken leg or, you know, die right before night seven. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to lower the game score. <laughs> I don't think the game stage isn't very high right now. That's because I keep dying every now and then. I think I did. I don't know if I have died, died much on here or not.
Oh, there's a bunch more corpses in the bottom. See the ones on the other sides. How much can this forge hold? Can hold twenty thousand four hundred. Now nah, let's put it up. Stuck in the corner. And there's things. Another what stuck in the corner? Zombie corpse. There. Yeah. We have leather and stuff, right? I was gonna make some more forges. Oh yeah. Fourteen o'clock. Eight more hours to go. Have a good 500 arrows. That should be good enough for the uh, the horde. I've got 398 rifle rounds, 200 blunderbuss rounds, 14 mines, and 12 pipe bombs. And a chainsaw. The chainsaw is the important thing. What did I come up here to do? Oh yeah, make forges. Make some bellows. Back to concrete. Then we'll have to make an area where we can make power so that I can make uh, electric fences. The wiring can go through walls, so you can just stick it up against the wall if you wanted to. Uh, you said you wanted the generator put in a certain area or something? I mean, if I make a couple more floors here, we can put the generator up there. Or if you want, where, where we come up here and each of these things, you can make a little 3x3 three three little tower. And put the generator in there. Take a look. 
But I mean, we're still working on the concrete for this stuff, so. Yeah. It's just, I mean, a bunch of fences. Just had a horde, it's unlikely that we'll get one like right before. Whoa. Fair one. Well, it might because, yeah, multiplayer there's higher chance of getting hordes, right? Yeah. Knowing our luck, it'll be the wolf pack. I almost feel like I'm gonna need like more cobblestone. have enough fuel left over tonight for if I did craft up a uh, no we need a couple engines to run the generator anyways don't we yes I think I only got one sitting in there and the higher quality the more power you get out of the more efficient it is so or is it only one engine or you can put one engine in but it's just it'll, it, like it only give you enough power to use like one or two electric fences I don't know because I'd only need four. Because you just, you just put it on the, the lip here before they drop down, right? You just put it in the four corners. Uh, no, they only, have, they only have a range of ten. Oh. So we need, like, four on each side. I'm not sure how wide the base is. Also, if you're going to use electric fences, you generally tend to put them, like, one below. Because dogs and crawlers can get under them, but they're too high. So I could actually just dig them into the dirt on the outside. Yeah. That's what Matt did with his. Yeah, it looks weird. Run off to the snow biome for a little bit. Why? Lumberjacks? Yeah. Find another chainsaw? Yeah. I mean, what, I found two already. Next one, I hope, drops an auger. More iron. This is like World of Warcraft, it's more iron forge.
Yeah, playing the overhaul, making stuff like wood pillars for fuel kind of sucks a bit. Because you actually have to make them in a workbench. Oh, jeez. Workbenches are easy to make, though. They only take, like, scrap metal and... Or no, nails and wood. Or no, nails and scrap metal, I think. Not mechanical parts and wrenches and... Nope. I was waiting for you to be like, lame. I, I was thinking that, but then I found a spot where it looks like a zombie horde kind of came through a rock. It's funny. Is that Hornet? And just blazing that iron. 420? Dang. I have another 10,000 concrete being crafted. But it won't be ready for the, for the tonight's horde. I doubt it, yeah. Well, five hours left before the Feral Horde. Okay, I think I can have the outside regular concreted. Beat the corners. So what do you raise on your farm? Um. <laughs> Food. <laughs> Got horses and hayland. These lumberjacks take forever to take apart. The special ones? Yeah. So just wait for them to degrade. So did you know there's a duping bug? What's that? So you, 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 go, you find a body, you loot it, 
And then once you've looted it, open it up and then put some stuff inside of it. And then wait for the body to turn into the uh, like the actual corpse that you use a knife on. Yeah. Then take the stuff out, and then when you open up the corpse again, your stuff will still be in there again. If you get double. That's two. Yeah, it's a bug that's been in the game for a long time. There's a container duping bug that you could do that required multiplayer as well. Yucky. Yakiniku, now I'm hungry. Where did I leave that corpse? Where is it? Of corpse it is. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, I'll just work on ramping things up. Damn it, I'm out of concrete again. Is made out of reinforced concrete. Outer needs reinforced concrete. The floor needs reinforced concrete. Spikes need steel. I think I gotta work on the interior of the base. At least the interior is not a high priority on you know, said day. Still gonna require a lot of concrete. My uh, single player base required a shitload of concrete. Like, I think I made like 70,000, it still wasn't enough. Because you see the, how big our cube base is right now? Yeah. Those are just the rooms. It was, uh, it was actually t uh, 25 9x9 nine nine rooms. Two floors, Ooh, and more. then it went out uh, three spike things. Same things with the pillars, though. But it went out three spikes instead, and then there's no ramp. It j the spikes were actually level. Like I actually dug into the ground. Man, it's so peaceful. Can't wait for the blood mood horde to come out and just fuck everything up. <laughs> What is it full of? Clay? I just random junk I've collected over here. Killing zombies and whatnot. Go ahead and take one of the weapons out of the workbench. What is it? It's something nice. Oh, an explosive? Alright, no, not that nice, but... You, you'll still find some enjoyment in it. <laughs> Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Says before he gets in a car. What was that old crime comedy thing? The guy who used the Magnum and he was like, "Trust me, I know what I'm doing." Is the Magnum PI? I don't know. It was, was it Sledgehammer? Oh jeez. I just remember his catchphrase was, trust me, I know what I'm doing, and he n never really <laughs> did. I think it was, I can't remember if it was 80s or early 90s, that show.
There is one minor disadvantage of playing on the expansion instead of overhaul. What's that? You'll never get to the point where you can, like, non-damage restore tools and stuff. Actually, I think you should be able to with maybe guns. I think stuff like guns, the compound bow, the stuff that requires multiple parts, I believe those ones you'll be able to repair without doing any, uh, quality damage. Oh, okay. The fifth time I've done that, I could use my chest and pick up my bedroll. I'm so fucking dumb. Do you have any sniper rifle gun parts that I can combine? I already put them on. Come on, here. Yeah, there is. Couldn't put them together, that's right. food and stuff to fill up now. Oh, just a few more hours. It's gonna be awesome. Choke a shotgun. Is Wayne waiting enough to choke a bitch? What? Legit question. Did it dang it. Yeah, I was wondering why you said dang it because I asked a legit question. Because <laughs> of what you said. You didn't put all the parts on your... Uh... Ah, uh, no, because of silence, the uh, silencer uses up the stock part instead. That's big. Getting there. Just a couple more hours. I guess I'll do one more run for concrete. Myself a shotgun, too. With a choke. That's the 
will say, did you choke your shotgun? Better take the siege breaker shells, dude. Siege shells are weak, though, against enemies. Yeah, no, it's it's for... Um, Breaking down some fucking walls. Yeah, just not in the base. <laughs> you know what would be funny? Silence shotgun. <laughs> did you get your uh, special thing out of the uh, workbench? Oh, no, I did not. I was even in there repairing shotgun parts. Oh. I figured you'd like that. Hey, you see where I'm working over here? Nope. I should sit here and make fun of the rebar frames I'm filling in. It'll be dry humor. Dang it. I mean, it's still wet right now, but hopefully it dries soon. Are you up for another round? So you make your own bullets from real life, right? Yep. Is that a complicated process? No, not really. I mean, it, it is to learn. There's a lot of steps, and I mean, you don't want to screw up either, right? But it saves a shitload of money, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, how much does it save? Well, put it this way, uh, to buy a box of, say, average, your, your 20 round box of, say, average, uh, not even, like, high-end bullets, you're looking between 60 and $80. For how many? 20 bullets. So, about 4 bucks a piece? 3 yeah. to 4 bucks a piece, you said 60 to 80? Yeah. Reloading, your cost is generally under a dollar a bullet. Of course, there's the initial cost of all the tools, right? But I'm sure over the long run, if you have been doing it as long as you have, you've saved a lot of money. Oh, with no, we, we, we've saved tons of money by reloading for ourselves rather than buying bullets. All right, should we pull the frames? Yeah, I'll grab this side. Okay, I've got a rifle, a shotgun, a blunderbuss. Oh, shoot. I gotta go put some stuff down quick. I have a bow and a sniper rifle. I'm good to go. Um... Let's defend the west side first. And three band-aids. So you know what happens when you give like people who play music an incurable disease, viral disease? What's that? Band aids. Dang it. 
Yeah, so come over to this corner first. This is where we're bringing them. Hang on, I gotta get some hydration in me. I should top up too. I think I said I was gonna top up and then I ate a little bit and it wasn't enough. I just fell down the thing. Alright, where are we defending? West side, he said, west, right? West corner. You'll, you'll see west where. Side. Alrighty then. You know, be funny is if like they step on one, it just sets off all of them. Ah, uh, huh? I forgot about that. I don't think. Well, I can't see. Well, it says it's not going to. Uh, uh, it doesn't hurt the blocks around them for those ones, but <laughs> nailed it. Yeah. What would you do if I shot one of them? Ah. Oh. It was a lot of work. It wasn't really. I think another like thirty or forty thousand concrete will be good in our base. Well, I mean, there's still more layers to go yet. I guess the inside doesn't need to be all fancy. Where do we drive the mini bikes in it? I mean, the mini bikes don't have to come into the base, do they? I just leave, no, when I, I when I make this base, I just leave the ba mini bike outside. But what if it becomes a victim of circumstance? Next time I log in, there's a sign by my bike that says, Do not press button, nuke. I'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, scared the shit out of me, pull out the frickin'. <laughs> Sniper rifle's pretty weak, isn't it? Oh, okay, never mind. Even for low quality, it's pretty strong. Yeah. It's How much damage did it do? My wooden bow does 37, and it's quality 400. My sniper rifle is quality 66. 47. And did he damage? Yep. I think my blunderbuss is broken. Entity damage is 398.71. That's, that's right. I think the blunderbuss, though, has, like, the huge multiplier that the... I think the multiplier is a lot less for the blunderbusses, uh... Like, when he headshot a guy, because headshot for a uh, sniper rifle when the guy is on the ground is, like, 27 times the damage or something ridiculous. The regular shotgun is only 60.7. Huh. My rifle is 73.48. And your blunderbuss is 300 and something. 398.71 and block damage is 296.16. <laughs> huh. You know what? I think the reason why there are some frames missing is I think you took a shot at them with the blunderbuss and some of the spread... It's a, it's a shotgun type, isn't it? Yeah. I think some of the spread killed a couple of the frames. That wouldn't uh, surprise me seeing this. All right, five minutes. Here we go. Done by done by midnight. I hope these mines don't have a wide radius and hit us up here. Watch the first wave comes and we just both die. <laughs> All right, fuckers. Where are they coming from? Oh, there they come. Oh, 
Come on, dude, hit a mine. <laughs> Did that blow you off the wall? No, I just froze. It exploded. That guy's on fire. Whoa, that guy went to <laughs> It's like Christmas. Oh, you're gonna one shot them. This is awesome. <laughs> and and their corpse is on fire. Oh, that's just the enemies. Wee! <laughs> I love how they're on fire. Walk, 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 walk. Come on! That guy's in the pit. Oh, now I'm out of mines. These guys are on fire. Is that a cop or is that just a fat dude? Uh, oh, fat dude. Fat dude. Fire! Fire! I hear that. I don't think the truck drivers can lose their legs, can they? Um, thank you. Uh, pipe bombs don't go through the middle grates. <laughs> but how close was that to me? No, I dropped it right here. Okay, because I did like maybe a couple damage to me and that's it. down to make room for more of the corpses. And now they're on fire. It's probably not my fault. Doggy's on fire.
Come on, Ravager, over here. Go on fire. What was that sound effect? Is that your blunderbuss? them so we don't get collapsing bodies everywhere. Got a Ravager. Last of it. All right, and we are done by midnight. Okay. Still have one at a time trickling in. Nothing looks too badly damaged. And probably just a couple of the metal spikes. And there's that one little piece of uh, concrete. There's that spot in the corner where I threw the dynamite. Those nail bonds are actually pretty fun to watch. Now watch the enemies just go flying, got a good view of it. Yeah. Now there's a pretty good damage spike. Didn't get any cops on these. Ooh, oh. level five hundred and fifteen quality steel shovel. Nice.
Wait, since when do you use a shovel? Since I started working on the farm, but that's about it. Many bikes for dumb shits. Nice. I'll let you read that. Continue cleaning. <laughs> cleaning up. Clean up crew. Oh, I'm freezing apparently. No stragglers? Arctic are attacking me. I'm getting undetected. Are you getting hunted? Yeah, I am. Got a stag party challenge. I'll give that one to you. I guess technically I could work with it if I have my sniper rifle with me. There you go, another uneventful night seven. <laughs> Some standing way off in the distance here. Right? Is it no longer standing in the distance there? The aimer's really bad on this for covering the crap up, so I can't tell. Apparently, I'm sensed now, so. It's try Makes oh, no they're trying to run, but they're standing in place. I can see them. I'll finish what I'm doing and then I'll go deal with it. Yeah, some of these damn spikes are damaged quite a bit. But these are the ones that were doing some damage to the... Oh. Okay, I'm dropping flesh, apparently. But they're the ones stuck, uh, slowly draining away the hit points of the truck drivers. I don't know why these zombies are stuck in place. Alright, I think that's for cleanup. I actually don't want to kill them while I'm standing way out here. I almost want to go out there and see them now, too. Come take pictures. Let me uh, toss this stuff. Which side did you uh, go through, north or south? Um, south. I can't get over this gap. I took it out so that the zombies didn't get in the base while you were paying attention. <laughs> Alright, where are these zombies dripping out? Okay. Run, zombie, run! Then yeah, here's another one. Meh. Oh, get executed. Is 
there anyone running towards you now? Not that I'm seeing. I'm sensed I'm not, uh, hunted. Undetected. Undetected. Well, Mike has left the building. Guess I'll sit here and sort my inventory. Didn't find very high quality stuff. Then again, I don't have gunsmithing very high. Hmm, picked up a lot of ammo. Nom some bacon and eggs. It'd be great if Mike re Mike rejoins and starts the horde over again. Probably not so great for him. Such an uneventful f feral horde night. Much to do except for, I guess, sort shit out. Black dress shoes, clothing.
well. I guess down into the mine. <laughs> I guess I'll make fun of Mike when he logs back in. Be like, aha, you didn't make it through night 14. Alright, more concrete mix. Ooh, lots of concrete mix. You hear me? Oh, welcome back, Mike. Uh, I'm on my phone. <laughs> I've got no internet elsewhere. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Nothing else is attacked. I'm just hanging out in the tunnels underneath the base. So quick, there's 45 minutes of in-game time. Tell a story. There you go, Mike. You didn't survive night 14. I'm just sitting here to pair everything. Hmm, a lot of damage. Fix up all the pillars. It's a real pillar of our society. There's a spot. Mike's internet sucks. Oh, hello, damage. I wonder if this is the corner where Mike was saying he threw his TNT. I thought the game kept, kept on throwing a zombie at a time at you during once you ran out. Well, I guess not. I still don't want to go outside the base to test that theory, though. Alright, most repairs, I guess, are done. Can you hear me at all? Yep. Oh, hello again. <laughs> yeah, my, like I said, my internet's out and my phone isn't working even very great at the moment. <laughs> well, you're just in time to say thanks for watching. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed all my explosives.
I was gonna, I was gonna, I was just telling the audience that. Yep, just did night fourteen solo. Didn't need Mike's help. <laughs> My explosions were there. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask. Did the, did any more zombies show up after we? Uh, nope. Shot this. What? Nothing showed ah, up. Well, I went. I guess I went to the uh, forge and picked up some more. Started working on some of the walls. Fixed up the pillars. Somebody did a bunch of damage to the spikes down there. I think it was the zombies. I found one corner where there was quite a cracked concrete. Was that you? Um. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Was it the south southeast corner? Sure. There may have been some pipe bombs thrown in that corner. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna shut her down. Did you like this video? If you did, press the like button, leave a comment, share it! Press the left button to subscribe, then press the right one to watch more 7 Days to Die.